Hey! You're alive! When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never gonna wake up. I checked your pockets for ID... a phone, maybe? I hope you don't mind. But all I found was some loose change. So... Wanna tell me who you are? Well, it's nice to meet you. And I'm sorry to pry, but any idea why you were floating down the river? What's the last thing you remember? Really? You're a soldier? But... why are you out of uniform? Oh! Was it a black op? Are you a soldier of fortune? You know what? Don't answer that. I don't think I want to know. But... this should be a piece of cake for someone like you. There are some ruins just behind you. Roman, I think. I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Al for me. He went in there a few hours ago, and he hasn't come out. I've been freaking out, wondering if he's trapped, or injured, or worse. I would have gone in after him, but he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way I'm leaving without him, so I'm just kind of... stuck here, waiting. I need... what I mean is, I was hoping you wouldn't mind going in there to find him? If you can do that, I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Please? Oh, of course. Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy, I just... What do you want to know? You really don't remember? We're in Italy. This river is the Tiber. He's the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long before you did. I thought maybe you two knew each other. I guess not. But maybe the two of you can piece together what you're doing here. In any case, you'll like him, I'm sure. Once you find him, that is. Oh, there's not much to tell. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead-end job with an endless commute. Know what I mean? Oh, uh, I'd rather not say if it's all the same to you. All right, fine. Sorry if I sounded cagey, it's just that I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's Karen. Look, if you really want to know all the tragic details, perhaps I can fill you in after you find Al? Oh, there's not much to tell. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead-end job with an endless commute. Know what I mean? Oh, uh, I'd rather not say if it's all the same to you.
Look, if you really want to know all the... Not much, really. But imagine what you might find in there. Priceless ancient artifacts. Al... What am I, an idiot? You could hike a long, long way in any direction and never find another soul. Trust me. Great. So you're ready to go look for Al? Thank you. The entrance is just past those columns behind you. Please, hurry. The ruins are just beyond those columns. Please, hurry! Back already? What's up? Oh, of course. What did you want to know? Oh, there's not much to tell. Oh, look. Great. What? Thanks again.
If you're reading this, it means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep underground. Its existence is long forgotten, all knowledge of it lost, except in the Latin inscription here. It reads, you who wish to enter the city, step forth and be judged. The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain, for this shall be their final resting place. Could an underground city have remained a secret for all this time? Could people have survived down there against the odds? It seems there's only one way to find out. If I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation or a warning. Al Worth.
whoever reads this, I'm sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, that you'll suffer the same fate I did. I've spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. In here, there are only two options. Death, or that godforsaken doorway into the past. I made the mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right. And I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, it took me right back to the beginning. Don't make the same mistake. Better to end it all now, and find out what awaits you beyond that portal. Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? Yeah, you know, agricultural goddess of springtime? You're not from around here, are you? Oh, I see what you did there, changing the subject like that. Nice try, but I'll ask again. Who are you, and what were you doing in the shrine? Oh, is that right? Well, just make sure you don't get lost in any other sacred places you're not supposed to be. Can't have you disrespecting the gods by accident, can we now? But listen, most folks seem a bit confused when they get here, but you... you seem very lost, and in more ways than one. So, let me make this nice and simple for you. Live by our law here, and we'll all get along just fine. Not laws, law. There's just one, the golden rule, and the punishment for breaking it's... well, it's kind of horrific. 
But our magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him, so I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? Look, you seem like you might need a little extra help, and I'd feel a lot more comfortable if I showed you the way. All right, friend, suit yourself. Just don't do anything too reckless till you've spoken with Magistrate Sentius in his villa down there. See you around. <laughs>